Hallelujah. My name is Bernard Williams. I am so excited to be here with you all this afternoon. And we're just going to have a good time. Myself is going to be here. Anybody looking forward to Ja'Kalen Carr? And I know we're all looking forward to Miss Tasha Cobbs Litter. But above all of those, anybody come here for the name of Jesus? Anybody come to lift the name of Jesus in this place? So, Father, we magnify you, we extol you, and we give you all the praise. Touch your neighbor and say, it's in Jesus' name. All things change. Come on, y'all got to get more excited than that. I need somebody to stand on your feet with me if that's all right. We're going to have some fun this evening. We ready, guys? Come on.
let you know that God has already given you the victory. Lift up your victorious shout. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we want to do another song. I've got an EP that's coming out in October. I'm really excited about it. God's been working on it in me for the last couple of years. Can I teach y'all the chorus of the song? Anybody know we serve a great God? It's a real easy song. You ready? Can you put me in the right key? Thank you. <laughs> it goes. Great God, strong and mighty. Great God, forever you are. Great God, strong and mighty. Great God, forever you are. That's the whole song. That's the whole chorus. Is it okay? Can I get everybody, even those of you that have the vendor stations, let's declare it in this place. Everybody, let's say now. Great God, strong and mighty. Great God, forever you are. Great God, strong and mighty. Great God, forever you are. Now I hear you singing it, but I don't think you believe it. Anybody know we serve the greatest, the only living true God? Come on, believers, let's sing with some authority. Let's sing it real loud, say, great God, strong. I need to hear you. Yeah. Great God, great God, strong and mighty. I think they got it, E. Forever you are. Come on, somebody celebrate a great God. You got the chorus, so when it comes around, y'all be ready to sing, amen? Come on. Come on. You can put your hands on it. Whoa.
Sunday morning. He died for your heart. Before the foundations of the earth, he gave up everything to get your heart. Not, you, not just your tithe. He came for your heart. And the Lord pressed that on my heart a couple years ago. And I said, God, I'm doing all this stuff for you. I'm singing everywhere. I'm preaching everywhere. I'm, I'm doing all this. I'm mentoring people. Why doesn't it feel like I'm hitting some things. Why, am I, why do I feel like I'm struggling in some places? He said, because I didn't pay for all that. All that's cool, but I died for your heart. So when are you going to give me what I paid, what I paid for? When are you going to give me what I died for? And in that moment, look, trust me, I've been in you, I've been in church literally all my life. My dad was a pastor for 34 years. I've been in music ministry for now 25 years. I'm I've done all this stuff. And I really started walking with God probably about four or five years ago. In this constant walk of not improving myself to people, 
but surrendering to him. And every day saying, I'm yours. What do you want to do with me today? And out of that mentality, he wrote this song in my heart. So I pray that it bless you. Called, it says, you deserve it. I am yours. So all over this place, I know we're outside and I know it's a little bit hot. But can I get some people to lift your hands and just begin to worship him? Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you appreciate him. Somebody surrender something in this place. We bless your name, oh God. We love you in this place. Come on, keep lifting me. Y'all came for a concert, but he came for this. <laughs> If you all love me, I'll give you everything you deserve it. You deserve it. I give you all love me. I'll give you everything you deserve it. And I am yours, let's say. If you all love me, if you love me, you deserve it. You deserve it.
Place and begin to surrender your own self. We love you, Lord, in this place. 